Saturday's football game under the lights at Bowdoin between the Bobcats and the Polar Bears may have ended with joy for Bates, but halfway through, the home team owned a 10-0 lead, holding Bates to just three first downs and 23 yards of offense. Then, with 10.46 left in the third quarter, senior quarterback Brendan Costa showed how he's rewriting the Bates record books this season, sparking the Bobcat offense with this 57-yard touchdown strike to fellow senior Christian Oliveri. We weren't playing the way that we expect to play in the first half. Uh, we talked about it at halftime and we kind of came out with a different type of intensity. Six plays later, Costa completed this 33-yard touchdown pass to senior Jackson Hayes to put Bates up 13-10 with 4.26 left in the third quarter. For Hayes, it was a long-awaited return to action. Yeah, you know, I hurt my hamstring uh, right before the Wesleyan game, and so, you know, it was a long, long ride back. You know, I tried to come back, pulled it again, tried to come back, pulled it again. And so I know you see me on the sideline. I'm, I'm making sure and I'm staying warm, can't get cold and not risking another pull. So I'm always on that bike trying to stay loose. Hayes was red hot Saturday, tallying three catches for 83 yards and two touchdowns. Hayes hails from California and has become close with the Massachusetts born and raised Costa. Costa made an effort over the summer to visit his receivers, even if they lived more than 3,000 miles away. That's one of my best friends. Uh, he came out, visited me all the way to California, and you know that just goes to show how much of a good guy he is, how much he cares about football. We wanted to get in that chemistry because you know we had COVID, so we didn't get to play, and it was it was awesome that him coming out and finally could connect in a game. Costa's chemistry with his receivers has led to the most prolific passing season in program history. His 50-yard completion to Oliveri with 4:38 left in regulation broke the 44-year-old record for passing yards as he finished the game atop the charts with 1,680 yards on the year with one game remaining. It's really humbling. There's a lot of great quarterbacks uh, that have come through here, um, and it, it's, really, it's really an honor to be mentioned uh, with those names. Records are one thing, but Bates still had a football game to win. Oliveri's big fourth quarter catch came with Bates once again trailing, this time by a score of 24 to 19. Two plays later, on second and goal from the Bowdoin Five, Costa found senior receiver Derek Marino for the go-ahead touchdown. It was Marino's only catch of the night. In fact, Costa only completed nine passes on the evening, but he certainly made the most of them, completing a career-high tying four touchdown passes. Meanwhile, the Bates defense more than held its own throughout the night, breaking up three passes, tallying a sack, and notching four tackles for loss as well. Neither team turned the ball over all night, and with Bates up by one after Marino's touchdown, the Polar Bears mounted one final drive, setting up a 28-yard field goal attempt as time expired. It missed. Wide left. It's obviously nerve-wracking when you got a field goal to uh, decide the game, but when it goes wide left, you can only help a smile. Smile and let pandemonium ensue. Bobcat Nation travels well, and Bates had a sizable crowd in attendance in Brunswick cheering the team on in the 123rd meeting between these two rivals. And when the kick went wide left, the fans stormed the field, joining the team in celebration. It really means a lot. Like, we've had ups and downs in the season, but it means a lot that we have so many fans, which were honestly louder than their fans. So hopefully we can get that same kind of kind of audience for the uh, final game against Hamilton. One more game for Costa and his fellow seniors. There are more records in sight, but the Bobcats just want to finish the season with a second straight win over the Continentals after beating Bowdoin for the ninth time in their last 10 tries. And Costa has a simple message for the season finale. Cats are coming. One more game of Cats are coming. <laughs>